How's it going guys? Today I want to cover something super special that is importing a hi-hat into the strike module and you know if anybody out there is new to the strike in general and you know that this is a possibility that you can import samples this is the most intimidating of the sample imports you know the other ones um, you can kind of just you know go through and you know the Elisa's video that they have out there covers that but for now we're going to get into this hi-hat import the first thing you want to do is have the samples um, that you've exported into the uh, the SD card of the strike. So you can just have your module hooked up via the USB and drag your samples into your samples folder. And once they're in there, the module will be able to read it and the editor will as well. So once they're in there, you open the editor, you want to go into the instrument editor uh, mode and create new. Yes, you want to create a new one and click the drop down menu to, you know, we'll start with the symbol. So once it's open, the new tab for the symbol, the first thing that I would recommend doing is this velocity meter, even though it says VOL, I think that's a, uh, a typo, <laughs> but that's the velocity and that's going to control some of the dynamics. And what this does, uh, in short, is brings up the, the volume level of the lower velocity layers, like the lighter hits. And a hi-hat, you want it to be the most dynamic, so I would crank this to 99 so you can hear the softer hits played actually, you know, audibly softer as well. So at 99 and then decay, I change that to 99. Um, I also change the panning. Um, you can do this, you don't have to do that, but I do that just so it's a little bit quicker once it's in the module. And the next thing you want to do is in the sample browser here, you want to find your samples. For me, I'm going to be uh, importing the 14-inch um, Soul Tone VOS hi-hat from Steven Slate 5. So um, you want to find your corresponding sample. This is the closed. So you're going to open that tab up, and then you can see your individual samples. You click the top one. Pretty self-explanatory here. Hold Shift, highlight them all. Now before you auto map, you want to make sure it's like this is HBC. That means it's closed. So you want to go and click the corresponding close tab to make sure you're auto mapping to the right section of the hi-hat. I always put 127. Some people mess with this, but 127 just covers all the velocity layers, which is going to spread it out evenly across the dynamics. Next, you're going to select the semi-open one tab and find your corresponding sample. And you're going to highlight that one as well. Hit auto map. Same thing, 127. You know, rinse and repeat. So at this point, it's not that hard. You're basically just putting the samples into the editor so you can um, adjust the parameters. Really quickly, you guys might notice um, that I'm dragging uh, semi-open two into semi-open one in the editor. And pretty much when you get your samples out of your VST, um, it's going to take every single semi-open that the VST has. And, and it usually has, you know, goes one, two, three, four, five. And I guess some VSTs even have like a semi-open six. So you'll have to listen in there and do some experimenting. But if it only has five, in my opinion, what I do is I cut out the first one because the second one is that nice sloshy sound. So it goes from like totally closed to that semi-open sizzly hi-hat sound. So that's what I do. Um, but, you know, it's just experimenting. And I just want to show you guys so you don't get confused. Why am I going, you know, my semi-open sample three into the semi-open two? That's why. So once you have all your samples auto-mapped in, next we need to put in these numbers to tell the module when to actually play each of the semi-opens. Zero is going to be on the top left, and that's the most open. And 127 will be at the bottom. All right, so I quickly just put in the numbers that work for my hi-hat imports from Steven Slate 5. It might be a little bit different for yours. I'm also using the, the Roland VH10 controller. So um, just, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but at least you guys can use this as an example for yours. Or you can just pull up, a, you know, a stock hi-hat and um, using those numbers to go off of, like, what's already in the strike. Um, but in any case, basically, so what I have going on is closed, 127, 127. That means it's just only going to be closed when I'm fully down on the pedal. As soon as I let up, it switches to semi-open one, and it carries that kind of sizzly sound almost to about halfway. I know the numbers are a little bit weird, but this is just what I can tell when I'm actually playing it. feels about halfway, so I can get a nice sloshy hi-hat. And then these other ones um, just are at the top 
letting off of the pedal. So the next step, you just go ahead and save your new sample. And then what I would recommend doing is keeping your module plugged in, keeping the screen up, and you go and test your hi-hat. And I like to assign whatever, like, so this is the, the bow sample that I've just inputted. You would um, assign that to the bow and the edge of your actual hi-hat, just so you're not getting, like, funny triggering or whatever. And you can go and slowly open the hi-hat and see if that's what you like. If you like, you know, the way that these numbers are arranged. And say, say for instance, um, you know, I have this going semi-open 126 to 35. So that's going to stay sloshy for a good amount of time. If that's not what you like and you want it to open a little bit quicker, you'd go in here and you change this to maybe 40. And then, you know, this to 39 here. And go save it again over the same thing. You can rewrite it and then go try it out again. And you just do that until you find how you like it to respond. But the cool thing is once you found your numbers for your VST and your controller and everything, you can just take a picture of that. And those are your numbers for all your hi-hats um, that you want to import from there on. All right, so once you've found the numbers that you like and how everything is working, at least for the time being, um, you're going to go ahead and click New, Create New Instrument, and we're going to go to Hi-Hat Pedal. First thing that comes up is Chick, but whatever you have, you can switch the tabs just like before. So we'll enter the, looks like I have Splash pulled up here. So change this to Splash. And then same thing before, you highlight your samples and click Auto Map. And you switch over to Chick. And you go up, find your samples. You're going to have to scroll all the way up if you didn't close them like I did. <laughs> all right, so once that's in there, you go ahead and save it. Maybe put a P at the end for pedal and uh, go jam your new hi-hats. You know, this sample import thing about the strike is one of the coolest things about the module. And it's not that hard, as you can see. And once you've done one, you know, you're going to go crazy and you're going to want to import everything. <laughs> and as far as the sample import thing, guys, I'm definitely going to be coming out with a few more videos on this. You know, I'll help you guys get the samples out of the VST and everything. It's not hard at all, but I know it definitely helps to have a video that you can reference. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.